For any questions to follow on in English, then players will come back to you in French. Uh, once they're finished, we'll then go outside for a few photos, uh, we'll share some shots out there, and once the TV section's finished as well, we should play up the front and then you can come back. Okay. Um, right. And over to Florian. Okay. Um, Florian, first of all, congratulations on, on the move. Welcome to Newcastle. Um, first and foremost, why Newcastle United? What is it that appeals to you about this football club? Uh, thank you. Vraiment parce que Newcastle c'est un très grand club qui a une très grande histoire. So Newcastle is a very big club with a, a fantastic history. Et euh, après en fin de saison, euh, j'ai eu un rapport d'une qui, qui m'a appelé. On a discuté et à partir de là, ça s'est fait naturellement. So I think this is a uh, season Rafa for me. We had a good discussion and, uh, and there was no, no question about whether to come or not. After your experience with, with Manchester City, was, was it a, a, a decision you had to think long and hard about when that's the Premier League? No, it hasn't been difficult because there was a deal between the two clubs, Gerard and Manchester City, between the two clubs. It was just a contract I had, but I didn't have time to go there. Yeah, okay. uh, there was an agreement between my two clubs, City and Girona, uh, so everything was uh, straightforward. And he's very happy, and I'm very happy to be back in the Premier League. In your mind, then, in no way is this a gamble? No, du tout. J'avais j'avais déjà pour but de de jouer dans en Angleterre en Premier League. I was always planning to play in the Premier League in England. Et avec Manchester, c'était un peu une relation un peu compliquée où je ne comprenais pas tout, donc du coup j'ai préféré partir. So with Manchester City, it was a bit complicated, the relationship was a bit complicated, so I prefer to like to leave. Et c'est pour ça que avant de signer les bas, j'ai j'ai quitté Manchester avant la la pré-saison. That's right. That's right. This is why I decided to leave before the end of the season. How great then for you is the challenge of playing in the Premier League? Bah déjà j'avais j'avais prévu de de découvrir ce championnat le, le rythme le la ferveur qui autour les stades et euh, sur le point de vue personnel aussi de de voir à quel niveau je suis et pour voir si je peux atteindre mes objectifs personnels. So I wanted to uh, to see all the stadia and I also wanted to see and to feel the uh, the love and uh, the uh, enthusiasm in the stadiums here. And, uh, and it's also a good career move for myself because I want to, to uh, improve and I want to improve the Premier League. And you mentioned that you had a long conversation with the manager Rafa Benitez before making the move here. What has he said to you about your role and how he envisages you fitting into the team? So we had a general discussion and he explained how he was working and how he could see me going forward and improving and that was the main object of our conversation. How much do you know about Newcastle as a city and Newcastle United as a football club? Il est plus de choses sur le club que sur la ville. Il ne sait pas que non. Il ne sait pas a lot more than I know the city. And obviously, it's first season back in the Premier League for Newcastle United. What are the goals for this season? Has the manager spoken to you about that? Okay. 
Euh, déjà, Newcastle, c'est un club qui a toujours été en, en première ligue. Et ce qui s'est passé les dernières, c'était. Enfin, c'est des choses qui arrivent dans, dans la vie d'un club. Et le fait qu'ils soient remontés en première ligue, c'est très bien. Maintenant, le but, c'est de, de rester en première ligue et de pouvoir prétendre à des objectifs un, un peu plus élevés au fur et à mesure de l'année. But Newcastle is back where it belongs, and uh, the uh, the objective is to stay here and go further in the championship. You've had a few days of pre-season training. How has that been? Very slowly, very slowly, but surely. What what sort of things is Rafa had you do? simple, le ballon, des possessions, et... enfin, après ce qu'il m'a surtout demandé c'est d'essayer de... de parler avec mes coéquipiers anglais, d'apprendre, même si je fais des erreurs, de, de continuer à assister pour bien apprendre la langue et après de, de jouer simple. Ok, donc so juste uh, le normal, uh, normal training, mais mainly to get to know my, uh, my co-players, even if I make mistakes in English, even if I don't understand everything, to keep on going and improve my English and improve my relationship with, uh, with them. Uh, finally, from me, the biggest transfer of the summer so far I've seen Alexander Lacazette go to Arsenal. I believe he played together in the French under 20 side. Can you tell us a little bit about him and what type of player Arsenal have got? Euh, bah, la cadette, c'est un, un ami à moi, on se connaît depuis plusieurs années. Le fait qu'il soit signé, enfin, le fait qu'il est signé à Arsenal, ça ne me surprend pas, parce que c'est un grand joueur, un grand buteur. So we are very good friends, we've been friends for many, many years, and the fact that he signed with Arsenal is no surprise to me. Euh, j'ai toujours su que c'est un grand buteur, car euh, quand j'ai fait la, la Coupe du Monde, en conduit des mois de 20 ans, il avait fini meilleur buteur, étant en remplaçant. I've always known he was a great forward, and he's, uh, in the past he was often the best, uh, the best player in the team. Have they got a goal scorer there? Yes, he's a great buteur. Yes, he's a great buteur. On the three or four years, he's about 20 points per season. So, yes, he's a great buteur. Definitely, you know, in the, three, four, uh, the last three or four years, he was putting in at least 20 goals a season, so definitely a goal scorer. Thank you. Uh, Poyana, uh, how important was it that Rafa Benitez was the manager here in your decision to come to Newcastle? Oui, ça a été très important parce que. Um, dans ma carrière, c'était un peu des hauts et des bas. Et le fait que ces trois dernières années, j'étais à un bon niveau. Et le fait de franchir un palier en étant en première ligue. Et un coach comme Rafa Benitez qui t'appelle et qui te dit qu'il qu te veut dans son équipe. J'étais un peu, un peu obligé de, de venir ici. C'était vraiment really, uh, really important. Et pour plusieurs années, pour les dernières années, ma carrière était en train de se faire up and down et up and down. Donc, so évidemment, obtenir un appel de Rafa Benitez était. Absolutely amazing, and uh, and I could only say yes. Was it a bit like a dream when you got the call? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Did you say yes straight away? Yes, for the moment where he m'a appelé, j'ai pas cru. Et c'est quand en le temps des heures, je me suis dit en fait c'est la première fois qu'il m'a appelé. Et après ça s'est fait. Ah, oui, 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 oui. So when I got the call, I thought it was a prank. So I didn't say anything. And, uh, and after a few hours, I thought, yes, that's Rafa Benitez. And I, I had to say yes. <laughs> and Florian, which position do you like to play in the most? Okay, center defense is my favorite place. And do you think that's where Rafa will play you? Because you can play midfield and... 
Ouais, je pense qu'il va me faire jouer en, enfin, c'est même sûr, en défense centrale, euh, à deux, ou aussi de jouer entre les consoles. Ok, so, uh, probably, or definitely, uh, uh, will get me to play center defense, maybe, you know, in two or threes, but uh, that will be probably the way forward for, you, for me. And I know you haven't been here for very long. Have you managed to look around the city, see any of the city at all yet? No, no. Uh, I'm at hotel. Staying in a hotel. I can do a little bit of a story. So I'm in a hotel, but yesterday I just had a look around the, uh, near the river. And à partir de demain, j'ai ma maison et je vais avoir un véhicule et donc petit à petit, je vais découvrir ma vie. So uh, from tomorrow, I will have my house. A car, so I will have the chance to, uh, to also, I will have the opportunity to go around and visit and discover the city. You need to go up to the coast in Northumberland, it's very nice there. Thank you. Thank you. Florian, we've discussed Ratha Benitez already. Can you try and explain to us what is the Ratha Benitez effect? What is it about the man that makes him so respected? particulier c'est que c'est un grand coach, tout le monde le connaît par rapport à ses trophées, par rapport au club où il a entraîné. He's a legend, ouais. he's a great coach, everyone knows him, he's won trophies, that's Rafa Benitez. In your experience, you've been in the Ligue 1, you've been in La Liga, what about those experiences has made you suited to the Premier League now? The English league was very important, very intense. So I really wanted to come and uh, and play here, and uh, hopefully and, uh, I will be able to prove that I'm worth it. We know your preferred position is centre back in centre of defence. Uh, tell the Newcastle fans what you're going to be bringing to the team, Florian. <laughs> J'aime pas trop parler de moi, mais voilà, je suis en tout cas je sais que je vais tout donner sur le terrain. Je suis un joueur qui, qui donne tout et après ça sera aux supporters de juger mes, mes qualités. Je We mentioned Manchester City before. Um, do you feel like you still have a lot left to prove here in the Premier League, having not made an appearance for you?